Hello again. Last time we created a billable metric for Nova that counts image generation by tier. Today we're creating products and rate cards. Products appear as line item on invoices, whereas rate cards hold the actual pricing. At this point, we've sent raw usage events, we've created billable metrics to aggregate them into quantities. Now we need to define our centralized rate card, which is where pricing actually lives. But first, let's talk about products. Products define the invoice line items your customers see. So they're the presentation layer of billing. Each product is tied to a billable metric, but one metric can feed multiple products if needed. Metronome currently supports four product types, usage for consumption-based billing, subscription for recurring charges, composite for percentage-based fees, and fixed for scheduled charges, commits, and credits. Products are reusable across customers and contracts. And importantly, products don't actually define the prices rate cards do. In other words, products determine how a customer is charged, but they don't dictate how much that customer pays. Finally, they also give you the option to convert quantities, like bytes to gigabytes, and also an option for routing. Let's talk about rate cards now. These are Metronome's single source of truth for pricing. You define them once and can reuse them across customers. They're versioned, meaning updates preserve history and never silently overwrite old pricing. You can also schedule price changes for immediate effect, future updates, or even retroactively if needed. And when you need to roll out new pricing, you just publish a new version and apply it to customers without breaking existing contracts, which is a definite boost of developer productivity. Rate cards also support both dimensional pricing, where rates differ based on your event property values, and also tiered pricing, where prices change at usage thresholds of your choosing. So what does this mean for Nova? Well, we only need one usage product and we'll call it Nova AI Image Generation. It's linked to our Nova Image Generation metric, which covers all of our image tiers. And since we chose the image type property to be our presentation group key, our invoices will show standard, high res, and ultra as line items. Then we attach a rate card, Nova Image Generation Pricing, with dimensional pricing on image type. And of course, each image type maps to its flat per unit price, which we set to be two cents for standard, five cents for high res, and 10 cents for ultra. All right, here we are in VS Code again, and our repo remains unchanged from the previous episode. We'll start by looking at the config file. So we've added a few new constants here. First, this dictionary that allows us to keep track of the Nova prices, then the product name, Nova AI image generation. So that's what's going to appear on customer invoices. Next is the rate card name. And finally, a date that represents when this rate card becomes effective. All right, let's check out our client now. And we've added a few new methods here. First up is the list billable metrics method. And that's just going to call the corresponding endpoint to get us a list of all the billable metrics on our metronome account. And then next is the retrieve billable metric method, which takes a billable metric ID and will return all the details of that billable metric. We'll see how these two methods are being used in a bit. Next up is our create product method. So this one is going to take the product name, a billable metric ID, a pricing group key to enable dimensional pricing, and then a presentation group key to split the invoice presentation by dimension. So it's going to generate a payload with all of these parameters and pass them on to the contracts products create endpoint in the metronome SDK. We then normalize the SDK response into a dictionary and return it. Next is our create rate card method. And this one is straightforward. We're passing in a name and generating a description, which we then pass to the contracts rate cards create endpoint in the metronome SDK. And again, we normalize the response and return a dictionary. Our create rate card method essentially returns an empty container. So now we have to add the actual rates to it. And we do that with our add flat rate method. So this method takes as parameters the ID for the rate card we just created, the product ID, our price, a starting at date, which is the effective date for the rate that we talked about earlier, and then a pricing group values dictionary. So this supports our dimensional pricing with key value pairs, such as image type, 
Ultra. So we use those parameters to create our payload and we'll add a couple of new properties to our payload here. We set entitled to true, which effectively means we're turning this price on for the product. And then the flat rate type just means we're using a fixed price per unit of our metric. So that's our payload, which we pass to the rate cars rates add endpoint. And that takes care of adding our new rate to our rate card. And again, we do some normalization here before returning from our method. So those were the new methods we've added to our client. Just like we did in our previous episode, we're going to invoke them from our Flask server. So let's switch to that now. So let's go through our updated Flask server now. Notice that we've imported our new constants as we're going to need them in this file. We've also added a few helper methods to persist state locally between runs of our app. So for instance, this would prevent us from creating multiple billable metrics with the same name over and over. So we're using this tiny local JSON file to persist our state. We have a load state method which reads from that file and a save state method which stores our IDs to that file. And then the ensure metric method here is what we make sure we're not creating the same billable metric over and over. And here's what we do here. We start by loading the state and then we check that state for a billable metric ID. And then we use that ID to see if it matches our billable metric name. If we find a match, we return that billable metric. And if we don't, we just call the SDK client to create a new billable metric. So this makes sure our billable metric stays at important while we run our app. So we'll make a small modification to our API metrics route that we created in episode four. Here's our API metrics route. And what we're doing now is calling the ensure metric method that we just implemented. So this guarantees that our billable metric will be added potent and gets persisted. Now let's check out the new route we're adding for episode five. So this new route is API pricing and it'll take care of creating our product and our rate card for us and then adding rates to that rate card. The first thing we'll do here is make sure we have a billable metric ID. And next we're going to create our product. And this follows our usual pattern of calling our metronome client. So this is the create product method that we implemented earlier. We're passing in the product name from our config file, the billable metric ID, which we just retrieved or created. And then our pricing group key and our presentation group key are both going to be image type. And we'll get a product ID from the metronome SDK. Next up, we'll call our client to create a rate card using the name from our config file. And again, we get the rate card ID back from the metronome SDK. Last but not least, we'll add a flat rate to our rate card for each image type. And we're doing that with our billable prices dictionary, which we defined earlier. So we're adding a rate for each of these prices to our rate card. And next we'll persist our IDs so future runs can reuse them. So this is the return JSON that we'll get from posting to our new route. And we're just printing out the product name, the rate card name, and all the rates. And of course, we make sure to have exception handling. So let's try running this now. And as usual, we'll run a new terminal. We'll do a split. Of course, we need our server running. So I'll launch it. And then we need to post to our new route. So I'm going to grab the curl command up here in the comments and just paste that here. Let's see what happens when we run it. It looks like it completed successfully. So let's check out the JSON object. There's our product, Nova image generation. That's what we set it to. That's our rate card and then our rates. So let's do a quick recap. So that curl command we just ran, posted to our API pricing route that we just created, which in turn called our client to find our billable metric use that billable metric to create a product, create a rate card, and populate that rate card with Nova's prices. Let's see how all of this looks in the metronome app. So in the metronome app, let's start by reviewing our billable metric real quick. So it was Nova image generation. It's filtering the image generation event types. It's aggregating a number of images and using image type for its group key. Now let's find the product we just created. So we go to offering products and here it is at the top. So if we click on it, we see that the product type is usage as we defined and the pricing group key and presentation group key are both image type. Next, let's check out the rate card. So we'll just go to rate card here. There it is, Nova image generation pricing. Let's click on it. 
and we can confirm the rates for each of our image types. So that's two cents for standard, five cents for high res, and 10 cents for ultra. And their effective date is September 1st, 2025, just like we set in our config file earlier. So our rate card is ready for use. All right, we now have pricing in place. Next time, we'll create customer contracts to generate invoices. As always, you can find the links to our code in the description. See you next time.